I don't think none of the uh, opponents in the welterweight division have prepared him for what he's about to, you know, embark on. I think they have truly done him a disservice. Amir Khan, Sean Porter, Kel Brook, Benavidez, the only person I even saw that pushed him and that made him go into his tool bag in the welterweight division was Agidas Kavalaskis, the mean machine from Lithuania. Other than that, man, Amir Khan uh, truly did but a disservice. Um, and even in that fight, he did catch Terrence Bud Crawford a couple of times with some punches that if I were to take out Amir Khan and put in Errol Spence, if I would take Aguidas Kavalaskis and some of the punches that he landed and put in Errol Spence, Sean Porter, Sean Porter, Sean Porter, Sean Porter. Did your boy a disservice? I think yeah, I, I think with the best intentions, you was trying to put your 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 friend in a good position. In certain ways, you did, but as far as preparing him for this fight properly, you know, and um, and it's, I tell you what, I still think that in this fight, Terrence Bud Crawford is going to do some things that's going to be like, you know, he going he going to do some things that's going have Errol Spence supporters have they moments of oh shit you know just like in um the fight when um your Danis Ugas caught Errol Spence and hit him and knocked out the mouthpiece and then wop wop caught him with the one two and put him into the ropes you've seen the reaction from Errol Spence's mom and the sisters and everything like that I think Terrence Bud Crawford has the ability and the potential to have one of those moments. But that's, other than that, I see him just really getting broken down. And I think he's gonna lose this fight. And it is what it is. You know, that's my thoughts on it. I, I really think his welterweight um, competition has done him a disservice in many ways. You know, like kind of, kind of gave, gave it, giving him some some false confidence, or just having pushed him and put himself where he has the the muscle memory. I don't. I just. I just feel like they. I'm not going to argue what's going to happen in the fight. What's going to happen in the fight is going to happen in the fight. That's some hypothetical shit. We'll see. I don't know what's going to happen in the fight until they start throwing hands. But I can tell you, looking at his competition in the welterweight division and watching those fights and watching what they brought to the table, I feel like besides Aguidas Kavalaskis, they wasn't doing Bud no favors. Setting him up for what he's about to fight with their Spence, in my humble opinion. That's my thoughts. Let me know what y'all think in the comments below. I just feel like they've been giving him these little hurdles to jump over. And now he think he really, really, really got the ability to to um, jump over Mount Everest and shit. Mm, I don't want to use hyperbole. I just want it to be what it's going to be. But from what I see, man... Amir Khan did a disservice to Terrence Bud Crawford. Kel Brook, you did a disservice to Terrence Bud Crawford. And Sean Porter, I think what you did for him, still sharp and still, I think you just was more like uh, cloth, cotton cloth. And you just shined him up. You just made Bud shine. Um, when I watch Sean Porter versus Adrian Broner. You see the tenacity, you see his aggressiveness. Then you watch him fight Errol Spencer, you see his aggressiveness. And then when you see him fight Terrence Bud Crawford, and you can watch damn near a whole minute where Sean Porter is, is really just on the outside, just not coming in and throwing a punch at all. It's Sean Porter half and half. He did some things that I think helped push Terrence Bud Crawford, but I think 
from what he did that you know was was kind of smoke and mirror shit where you know the stunt man know how to make the stunt look good like i was watching this stunt video with this female she ran and then this dude hit her in the face with a bat and the rope pulled her and snatched her back and it looked like he caught her flush in the face with the baseball bat it looked so real and same thing sean porter did sean porter made terrence bud crawford look good but when you really really watch it and you really know sean porter I mean, he did like what a stunt double does. He made that shit look fucking good. He made it look real as possible. But that wasn't real. That wasn't the real Sean Porter. That wasn't the real Kenny Porter. I don't give a fuck what you say. That was some That was some other shit. And it, it helped Terrence Bud Crawford, but at the same time, I think it hurts Terrence Bud Crawford, in my humble opinion. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Salute, salute, salute. Bow.